think it's unreasonable. Let's, not, but yeah, let's just be simple for the conversation, right? We are, we are born free of the stories that we currently have that are weighing us down. So it, beyond, like if we peel back all of that, what we find is our free nature, which is what we refer to as you know, our true self, our free nature, who we are when we are optimally in alignment with all parts of our, our being, sure. you know, our mind, body, soul, whatever you want to describe. Uh, free nature is a, is a very effortless place to live in. It is where we live and we're, we're moving forward. We're doing all these things that we talk about, right? So the free nature avatar, and, and obviously the word avatar coming from imagery, like if you think about your profile picture, right? That's your, your avatar on Facebook. Yeah. Your free nature avatar is your avatar for life. It's your avatar for accomplishing all the things that you want to accomplish for yourself, right? So it is literally developing this persona yep. that believe it or not is, is, I like to describe it this way. It's elements of who you are, but it's parts of who you're becoming as well. Yep. Because sometimes a free nature avatar, you might not be optimally in that space space, you're creating that space. Who do you want to become more of? Usually there are traces of, uh, we can identify traces of who we are inside of that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you construct a story yep. and you can, you, you give your free nature avatar a name. So my, my free nature avatar's name is the gentle Viking. Yep. And I'll explain that in one second. Um, and then you, you write a story about him or her, but here's the key. I want you to write it in third person. Mm -hmm. I don't talk about Carrie. I talk about the gentle Viking. Viking, which is essentially like, it's this persona outside of myself. Now, why do we do that? We do that on purpose to disassociate because when we are in a bad place, we don't necessarily believe that we are capable. We don't necessarily believe that we have the power to do X, Y, and Z. So when you're telling a story in third person about somebody else, you get to say, okay, like, what would the gentle Viking do? What would she do today? How does she have to show up? And that it just creates that enough of that disassociation that emotion can kind of come down and it can go into practical application of what do I do, right? So my gentle Viking, which is kind of an oxymoron, if you think about it, is very intentional, right? Like, because the Viking reminds me of the drive, the passion, the commitment, the perseverance, the relentless nature in which I will pursue for myself and for the people I love. Yeah. And then the gentle side of it is reminding myself, compassion, patience, be gentle, be loving, you know? So the two of them together for me is what I would refer to as the ultimate giving of balance. Yeah. But like, I have literally written stories about her, you know? And like, and I'll, it, it's funny because the stories that I'll write are very, um, like it's, it's, it's metaphorical. But it's very much like, you know, like, you know, the gentle, the, the gentle Viking, you know, she, she takes a knee, she bows and she bows her head after war, takes a big breath, but then rises again. Mm -hmm. Like think about, I, I get goosebumps. It's my own, it's my own avatar and I get goosebumps thinking about it. A good sign. But the point that you have to recognize is that you all have that inside of you. Not necessarily the gentle Viking. I have somebody whose who's avatar is the relentless seeker, mm. right? Like, and it, it's all about like, who do I need to become more of in order to accomplish the things that I want? And on those challenging days, the more you can internalize that free nature avatar, the more you realize you are capable, yeah. that you can do it and you can accomplish the things that you want to do. You just have to tap more in to your free nature than the opposite, which would be what we would refer to as your bound nature, the constructs of influence and experience and so on and so forth. Am I 